Hello everyone, my name is Lacey and today I have my empties and half empties from the last week to share with you. I do have some half empties this week, so let's start with those. I used some of this Trick Tart from L3 Waxy Wonders in Peppermint. I love this, I did it in the kitchen. It's just a nice kind of icy peppermint. almost like the inside of a York peppermint patty. It kind of a, has a creaminess to it. Yeah, really nice. Um, I don't think I, I didn't mix this with anything. I just did it on its own in the tea light warmer and the ball warmers in the kitchen and it was great. I, I just love like a really cool peppermint. A couple here from the bathing garden. The first one is Wondershop, Wondershop. Wonderland Country Wonderland Coffee Shop <laughs> This clam is kind of dusty it looks like This is nice. I just did one cube in the tea light warmer Right now it does not smell good, but <laughs> this does smell good. It's just like a caramel coffee it's a really nice coffee scent. I'm just, I'm not loving coffee. I haven't been for a while. So this was nice. It performed well in the tea light warmer. I don't know if I would repurchase it in the future because it'll probably take me a while to get through just these four cubes. I'm just not loving coffee. If I would happen to like fall in love with coffee and be on the hunt for coffee scents, I would pick this one up because I do really like this as a coffee scent. It's nice. It's not like too heavy on the caramel. At least I think it's caramel. It might be something else. But it smells like caramel and coffee to me. So it was good. I, I just don't love coffee. And then I could not wait to melt this. So I melted some inclement weather party. Three cubes left. I did this in the kitchen also. This is really pretty. Performed well. It's just, I think the description was like rain dampened cotton or something, I forget, but it's definitely like a floral aquatic, so the rain note has some florals to me, or there are some florals in here aside from the rain, mm, but it's a very like clean aquatic laundry really nice. I will definitely get more of this next year when it's offered again. There isn't any more on the website, but really good. And like I said, it performed well and I just got this a few weeks ago. So I don't, I, a few people have asked me how long I let my bathing garden sit and cure. I don't really have a set amount of time. If I want to melt it right away, I will. And usually I can get good performance, especially in the tea light warmer. Johnny, what's wrong? Some things just end up sitting longer just because I don't get to them and they perform great when I melt them. So the bathing garden has really good shelf life. So I will say if you order from the bathing garden, you can let it sit for quite a long time and it, you don't have to worry about it going bad. It's, it lasts for so long, <laughs> so long. It's just, I don't know, it has a really good shelf life, but I don't purposely let it sit long. I know some people cure their bathing garden for a year, like purposely they do that. I don't, some things definitely do end up sitting for a year, but I don't do it purposely if that makes sense. So I did really like this and I would definitely purchase that in the future. And then I have two half undies here from Scentsy. And I actually melted them together. So this one is Summer Rain and I melted it with Pima Cotton. So I did do these in 
warmers together in the living room, dining room, and entryway. So I did five of each scent and it was really pretty. So Summerine has, I wanted to melt this because look at the bar and it's kind of, it hasn't turned quite yet, but I can tell that it's going to. I just, I have that issue with blue wax that it goes bad faster than any other wax that I have from Scentsy. Summer Rain isn't my favorite. I want to love this scent because it sounds like I should. I think this has, I don't know, I think it has like cyclamen, um, there's like black lava salt and something else in here. There's just something that I don't love about this scent. And I don't really, I can't even really pinpoint it. I don't know. I love the label. I love the scent notes. I love the name. <laughs> but it's just, it's not a favorite, even though I want it to be. But melting it with Pima Cotton was really, really nice. I do love Pima Cotton. That is a favorite of mine. And Pima Cotton is a floral based laundry scent so I feel like the florals in here played really nicely with the floral rain kind of scent here and I did actually really enjoy the blend and I melted these together at the same time that I had the inclement weather party from the bathing garden in the kitchen and it was just a whole vibe in the house that day yeah, so I would definitely, um, I'll probably end up melting these together to finish these clams off. And I would do this mix again if I had any more Summerine. I think this was the last one in my collection. But that was a really nice blend. They're both pretty strong together. I mean, they're both pretty strong separately. And together they were also. So I feel like they were an equal, I feel like they are equal strengths. That makes sense okay on to the empties I did finish one candle this week from Goose Creek in Burlwood and Oak um, I ended up just sticking this on my candle warmer not because it didn't perform I I've had this for a few years and I actually found it in a box in the basement when I was looking for my Scentsy mini warmer base and it didn't have a lid so I was thinking that it probably lost a lot of scent because it was sitting down there for so long without a lid but this lasted for like three weeks on my candle warmer it just would not stop <laughs> smelling so it had plenty of scent left in it um, you can see like residue from where I burned it before a few years ago. Um, but I typically have pretty decent luck with Goose Creek candles. I usually don't have a ton of sooting. Like I said, you can see that residue, but residue left on the jar doesn't bother me as much as like sooting or a candle that doesn't smell. So this was kind of like a cologne type of scent I feel like there's I feel like there's some bergamot in here yeah like a woodsy kind of cologne scent it was really nice like I said lasted for three weeks on my candle warmer so I would probably get that scent again I just have two here that aren't scentsy and then we'll get into the scentsy so the first thing is from better homes and gardens in amber and rose the notes are citrus berry floral amber wood vanilla and sugar cane this is really pretty it's definitely like a sugary floral really pretty but it was really light which was surprising because usually rose scents are pretty strong for me. Yeah, it was just really light. So I don't know if I would get this one again, even though I do really like the scent of it. And then I have from the bathing garden, tea and rose petal pound cake. So this is like a pink petal tea cake kind of scent. I haven't smelled that scent for 
a very long time so I don't know if this is an exact dupe. I feel like it's not an exact dupe but it's very similar. It's really really nice. So this is Candied Rose Petals Sweet Cream Black Tea and Vanilla Pound Cake. I wonder this kind of it does smell a little bit like tea and cakes with like rose jam maybe hmm I don't know if it is tea and cakes but it does kind of smell like that yeah this was really really nice I would get this one again it was a good performer it's actually still going in the kitchen from yesterday and I can still smell it so I do really like that one I love the bathing gardens rose scents they're always really good okay into Scentsy. Let's just start with these testers. I'm going to go through them quickly. I have all of these mini testers and I melted them all at the same time. Um, I just put three mini testers in one warmer at a time and I have three warmers in the back room. That's where I've been melting all these testers to get through them. So all at one time I had going, I pulled out a bunch of bakery scents and just melted them all together so we have no <laughs> we have caramel vanilla delight which is caramel vanilla it's not a favorite of mine sweet cream spice it smells like <laughs> spiced sweet cream um, I feel like if this one were to ever come back in like a Bring Back My Bar or anything, I would grab a bar of it just to try it. Apple Butter Frosting, which I think everyone knows about. It's a spiced buttercream with some apple. Pumpkin Roll. Again, this one's been around forever. I can barely smell it in here, but I feel like it's yellow cake and, you know, frosting and whatnot. Whipped Vanilla Pear. This one's actually really nice. I would probably get that one again if I could. Yeah, it's like pear and whipped cream or something. Everything nice is just a spice scent. Sugar cookie is obviously a sugar cookie kind of scent. It smells like the Lip Smackers, um, what was it? It was like a vanilla buttercream or vanilla icing or something. Lip gloss, that's kind of what sugar cookie smells like. Cinnamon vanilla, I didn't realize there was wax on the lid there. Vanilla and cinnamon, I do like cinnamon vanilla and baked apple pie so yeah I had all these going in the back room at the same time and it just kind of smelled like a generic bakery type set so okay and then on to the newer testers this day I melted pina colada cha-cha which is like coconut pineapple it's not a favorite of mine but it's a nice scent with pomegranate prosecco again not a favorite of mine but it's a nice scent it smells like pomegranate and champagne mojito mambo Smells like a mojito. Yeah. So I melted those three together. I think that was from the, from uh, Patricia's wax melting challenge. It was melt, I want to say like a cocktail scent maybe. So I just pulled all three of these out and melted them together. It wasn't anything amazing and I don't know that I would 
repurchase any of these. If I were to repurchase one, it would be Mojito Mambo because I like the mint in here, but that was okay. This one, this combination, the first one is Summer Moonlight. I think this is in the current catalog. It's like strawberry and sandalwood, I want to say. This one I kind of wanted to melt so I could see how I felt about it because I've been thinking about picking up a bar of it. I'm just not sure. I think I would still need to grab a bar to really get a good feel for it. I'm not sure if I love this strawberry. It smells nice. So yeah, maybe I will try it. It smells nice. And I melted that with Magnolia Linen, which is what it sounds like, a floral laundry. This Magnolia Linen to me smells like clothesline with a floral added. Really pretty, nice performer. I would probably get that one again. And then I melted those with Vanilla Waves. Love Vanilla Waves my favorite vanilla scent from Scentsy. Mm. Smells like salty, fresh vanilla. <laughs> Love that. The next group here is Pina Colada Cha Cha. <laughs> Again, coconut, pineapple, not my favorite, with strawberry rose not my favorite <laughs> this is like chapstick strawberry Ugh, no i've seen some people say that this um the strawberry in here smells like coastal strawberry to them i do not get that at all <laughs> i just get chapstick strawberry i don't like that and then lemon sorbet I think I actually am starting to like this more than Squeeze the Day. Squeeze the Day was my favorite lemon from Scentsy for a long time, but I think I actually like this one more. It's definitely more like crisp and fresh lemon. Squeeze the Day has more of a creamy sweet note to me. I don't know. I don't know but I think I will get some lemon sorbet. This group is Mocha Doodle, which is, I guess it's like a chocolate coffee scent. I don't know. Again, that's not a favorite of mine with cinnamon buttercream. And I actually could smell this a lot stronger this time than I have been able to the other times I've melted testers of it. Um, and I, I liked it. I liked the cinnamon buttercream and then with cinnamon vanilla. Just cinnamon vanilla. It's a nice scent. I think I would get a bar of cinnamon buttercream at some point. I've never actually melted a bar of it. Alright, next one here is lavender cotton, which is exactly what it sounds like. A lavender laundry scent with French lavender and Atlantic Air. So not, well, I think French Lavender might be on the website right now, but it was discontinued. They didn't bring it back in the catalog for the spring and summer, but they brought it back with the, the Epcot Flower and Garden collection. And I actually, French Lavender has never been like a really good performer for me. But it actually was this time. I could smell this more than any of the other scents here for some reason. Yeah, so I don't know. I did stick a bar of French lavender in my club for now. Because I do really like it. It's a really nice herbal lavender. It was just never very strong for me. And then, yeah, the lavender cotton is a lavender laundry scent. And Atlantic Air... It's like that salty sea air kind of scent. Really, really nice. And I know that was a sensey heartbreak for a lot of people. I think we'll probably see that back and I bring back my bar at some point and I would 
get some bars of it. And then the last tester group here is, here comes the sunflowers. It's like a really pretty floral body care kind of set. I think I do want to get a bar of that. I did really enjoy that. And I blended it with sun soaked petals, which I never actually melted a bar of. And I've seen a lot of people comparing it to soak and raise. And I see what they mean, but this is definitely more floral to me, whereas Soak and Raise really smells like sunscreen to me. Yeah, but I did like this. So if I ever saw this in like clearance or something, I would probably pick it up. And then I melted those with Skinny Dippin, which has been around forever. It's nice. It's not a favorite of mine. It's fruity. I forget what all is in here. I want to say like green apple and I feel like there's some kind of melon in here. It's nice. It's like a summer staple. It's just not a favorite of mine, but all, all together, this was a really nice combination. Okay. On to bars. Oh, I forgot to do the bags. Let me do the bags quick. I have vendor bags here. Um, so I have three here from the bathing garden. The first one is Summer in a Jar. I think this is the one that I didn't like. Yeah, I didn't like this one. Mm. This smells like peach and not the good peach. And celery. I don't know. I don't know what that is. It smells like cat pee peach and celery to me, but I know... This is a well-loved scent from the bathing garden. A lot of people really like this one, so don't take my word for it. If it sounds good to you, if you see the notes and it sounds good, I would try it. It was strong. I just didn't like the scent. Sunshine and Rainbows. I think this is a, is it a Silver Clouds dupe? Yeah, I think so. It's kind of like a floral musky perfume. What it reminds me of is my Mamaw's per, um, Avon perfume bottles. I used to play with them when I was little. She had them on her dresser and I played with them and that's what the scent reminds me of. So I do like it for nostalgic purposes. It's not like my favorite scent ever on its own, but with the scent memory attached, I do like it. But if you like that, is it Silver, silver Clouds? Is that what it's called? I think so. I think it's a lush maybe silver clouds if you like that scent I'm pretty sure this is a dupe for that skinny dip I did actually like this one I didn't expect to it's actually really nice I don't know what exactly is in here I feel like I get lemonade or a lemon mm, yeah this one was really nice I think I would grab a bar of this this is in the summer collection so I did really enjoy that and it was strong in the tea light warmer. I have one here from Sassy Girl Aroma in Gentleman Club. This is a warm and woody blend of vanilla, tobacco, white tea, saffron, sandalwood, and tonka. I feel like this is a cologne dupe. I don't know if it's, is it a Tom Ford or a Jo Malone? I think it's a cologne dupe. It does smell really nice. I almost get doesn't say that but I almost get a like hint of leather in here it does smell really nice it was like a medium performer I had it in the kitchen I liked it I didn't love it I don't think I need to get more of it and then King Orin from Super Tarts is the last bag I have here this is crisp brain salty water seaweed patchouli and cedarwood finish this band bag I have another band bag this is a favorite scent of mine from any vendor from any company really so good it's like salty ocean water it's I don't know if I would I, I guess it's a little cologne -y. I don't know I don't know that I would say it's cologne -y. it's like fresh earthy aquatic 
salty. It's so good. King Orin, one of my favorites ever. Okay, now let's get into the Scentsy clams that I finished. The first one here is Vanilla Suede from 2016. <laughs> Bring back my bar. Love this scent. I, if I remember correctly, I think this one's coming back. This one's really yucky. I think this one's coming back in the June Bring Back My Bar, I want to say. And I, I, if it is, which I think it is, but if it is, I will be getting more of it. Such a good scent. Just a very smooth vanilla and suede scent. That's really all there is to it. It's really good. Good performer. It'll last all day. It'll last for more than one day. Really nice. I finished a bar of Coffee Tree, also from 2017. I don't like this one. This is that Perm Solution coffee that I don't like. I think I blended this with, yeah, I'm pretty sure I blended this with Vanilla Waves. And look at this bar. I melted this bar because it's gross. Like, I probably would have hoarded it if it didn't look like that. Ugh, Vanilla Waves. So good. And luckily, the Vanilla Waves really overpowered the coffee tree, so it wasn't terrible. Um... I just really wanted to use that up. I think there was a day where we, was, we were supposed to melt scents that we don't really want to melt, basically. So that's why I pulled out the coffee tree. But I kind of cheated by adding the vanilla waves. This is one that I melted on that same day. Uh, Hufflepuff Just and Loyal from the Harry Potter collection. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't know... I think it's supposed to be like golden apple, vanilla, and I don't even know what else. Caramel, maybe? Ugh, I don't know. I don't like this one. It's very off-putting, very cloying. I don't like this one. Uh, my friend Ilza, she told me that she really likes this scent, and had I known that, I would have just sent her the rest of this bar, but... <laughs> I melted through it to get out of my collection. I don't like that. Then I have, I don't know what year this bring back my bar was, but it's lemon coconut chiffon. And I used to really love this scent. I actually had it in my club for a little bit, but it's too much for me now. I don't know. I get like a super buttery coconut. Yeah. And that's mostly what I get. And I used to really love really buttery scents, and I don't love them as much as I used to. This was really nice. It was nice while it was melting. I just, I, I don't need more of this scent, even though I used to love it. Good performer, though. Okay, on to, what do I have here? I do, I have the Mother's Day collection. Well, the scents from the Mother's Day collection. So the first one here is Wildflower Cotton. I was really excited about this one because I love cotton scents. I love laundry scents. This one smells like sandalwood tangerine. <laughs> it's especially on cold. And then when I melted it, it smelled like sandalwood tangerine with a little bit of like a line dried linen kind of scent and a little bit of a musky floral so I did like it it was like a medium performer but I really get a lot of sandalwood tangerine in here but I do get those other notes like the cotton and the floral um, so I think I'm gonna grab one more bar of this to try it again and I also want to melt sandalwood tangerine and kind of compare them on warm and see if I need this when I can already get sandalwood tangerine. It is different. There is something very different about it, but I get a lot of sandalwood tangerine from this. I think there's like a woodsy note in here. I'm picking up sandalwood and then there's a lemon note 
and obviously sandalwood tangerine has a tangerine note but the citrus and the woods together is giving me the same kind of scent it is really nice though i do really like the scent i just don't know that i need both of them so i want to i want to melt it again and also melt sandalwood tangerine and then the other one from the mother's day collection is blue coconut beach and this one is really nice it actually reminds me of arctic kiss with a coconut note and like an airy beachy kind of note like arctic kiss to me is airy already but it's more of a cool air kind of note where this is i mean it's cool air but it's more of like summertime at the beach kind of air yeah that's what I get here. I think there is like a ocean skies note or something in here. It's like, yeah, it's like coconut vanilla and this airy like ocean note. But it reminds me so much of Arctic Kiss. Different, but like they're siblings, if that makes sense. So yeah. This was really nice on warm. I think I do want to get more of this also. I enjoyed both of those. Okay, then I have the Epcot Flower and Garden Festival scents. The first one here is Mint Fields. And it smells like mint from your garden, like spearmint and peppermint from your garden. It even has, like, I don't, if you've ever, like, rubbed a mint plant and you your fingers kind of feel a little sticky it even it, it kind of has that like sticky green note it's really nice I think I will get more of this I don't know yet if I love it enough to club it but I really liked it and it was strong it lasted all day I could still smell it the next morning so yeah, I think it's a good performer. It definitely smells like garden mint. If, if you've ever smelled that, it smells just like it. So I like that. And then we have Salt Plumeria. This is another one that I liked. I do really like it, but I don't know if I need to club it. It takes me right back to 90s Bath and Body Works. Like that's what it smells like to me like a 90s Bath and Body Works fruity floral body care set. And I do like it and I, I just don't know if I need it in my club. So I'll probably grab another bar of that to melt. And I also melted the Heirloom Rose scent. It's so pretty. It's just like a damp rose petal with fresh air. That's what this smells like to me. So good. And I will say that while I had these two melting, I had this one downstairs and this one upstairs in the bedrooms and bathrooms. This one in the dining room, living room, entryway. I was outside doing stuff in the little garden bed that we have out back and I could smell these all the way back at the end of the yard. <laughs> so they were very strong, which I love. Uh, I think if I were to club any of these, I do think I stuck them all in my club right now, but it would, it would definitely be the heirloom rose. It's just so pretty. So I did really like this collection and I do plan to get more of them. So after I melted Heirloom Rose, I wanted to pull out a Simply Rose to kind of compare them because I couldn't, even though I really liked this while I was melting, I was like, do I like this more than Simply Rose though? I don't know. So I wanted to melt one. So the next day I melted Simply Rose and I still don't know. <laughs> They're both really good and they are different. And I almost feel like 
if I had the option right now, I would choose Simply Rose, but I don't have the option, so I have to choose Heirloom Rose. <laughs> but if Simply Rose ever comes back, I think I would put it back in my club. I had it in there and I took it out. I just love it so much. So yeah, I love both of these and they're both really good performers. Love that Epcot collection. I do plan to get more of that. Okay, and the last thing I have here is pink lemon water. So this is another rose scent. And the first time I melted this, I really didn't like it. It really bothered me. It got in my throat. I didn't like it at all. And it's been a little while, a little while since I melted it, so I wanted to pull out another bar while I was doing all these rose scents and just kind of give it another chance see if my nose changed to it at all and I do think I liked it a lot more this time it didn't bother me and I actually while it was melting I remember thinking I actually kind of like this it almost has an herbal note to me does anyone else get that I don't know it just it has this like herbal kind of note to me I don't know what that is I don't know what else is in here lemon and rose I don't know anyway I did like it this time and I don't know I might end up picking up some more of this because like I said it was actually really nice and it was a good performer so we'll see we'll see how I feel about it when I'm placing an order but that is everything that I got through this week let me know what you've been melting and loving or melting and hating let me know if any of your favorites were in here or if there's any in here that you would like to try in the future. I just want to talk to you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well and I will talk to you all later. Bye. Now I feel like my camera is crooked.